What's up? Hi. Welcome back once again to Wheel Takes, a podcast about the Wheel of Time, a series of fantasy novels written by Robert Jordan and completed by Brandon Sanderson. My name is Gus. I've read them all. And I'm Allie, and I'm on book 12, chapter 14. Yay! Yay! That right, that's right, right. That's right. This podcast only contains spoilers for what Allie's already read. And again, today, that's everything up to and including The Gathering Storm, chapter 14, A Box Opens. And Rand isn't in it. No. He's not. Finally. What's in it? Uh, what's in the box? Um, we know my feelings about that movie. Yes, we we do. We don't need to retread that. No. Uh, um, it is um, the Angriel of me, the man holding the orb. Yeah, the the male Choiden call. And uh, the sad and the sad, sad bracelets. bracelets. Is it the sad bracelets or a different pair of sad bracelets? It is either the sad bracelets or a copy thereof. Great. Yes. Love that we're just keeping those around. It's, well, it's because Eggy Annan did one thing wrong. It's true. She did oh, one Kat thing Swain wrong. has her reason. She claims. I just don't love having them because now it feels like Chekhov's sad bracelets. It's not awesome, but you can't really destroy them. You can only huck them into the sea. But yeah, Kat Great. Swain, what a good idea. Kat Swain Go is over like, the Mariana Trench, just hawk them in there. That was the plan. I know. It didn't work out. I what, know. What, we what, try it again. What and is, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. What was Kat Swain, Why is Kat Swain keeping them around? Um, because, okay, she's got her reasons. She says that she wants to put them on a dude and... Um, see if there is a way out of them. Yeah. Because if someone intends to use something on you, you should figure, you should out, how figure to out how it. to counter it. But I was like, but Kazwaim, hun, you couldn't figure out a way out of the sad bracelets yourself. She could not. What <clears throat> makes you think that we will find a solution with these? Well, here's the thing. Because one would think that they would want to really keep the men under lock and key, considering all the you know, going crazy and killing people thing. Yeah, but now they don't do that anymore. Why not? Okay, I don't understand that. Why don't they do that? They just kill them, right? The men don't go crazy anymore. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, because yeah, yeah, we yeah. cleanse the thing. So I'm wondering if that changes Sean Chan culture at all. Are they going to enslave the men too? Are, or are they, they just going to keep killing them? Do you think the Sean Chan are going to be receptive to cultural change as relates to their treatment of channelers? I, <sighs> Do you think that we're going to see glimmers of Sean Chan abolitionism? I would hope so. Is it going to change, Allie, in this probably not utopia, but, you know, we could hope for a utopia? I would hope so. If we're creating a better world and defeating evil, I yeah. would hope so. That was a, hey. If we end this book. <laughs> well, we have never talked about that before. This is brand new stuff. Your chair, you keep spinning your chair away it's from me. Cause it it's funny because usually she's she's in the, the 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 she's in my chair. I have a secret lab chair. This podcast is not brought to you by Secret Lab, but it could it it could be Call Secret us. Lab if you're out there. I love your fucking chairs. They're huge and comfy, and we are big fans of the chairs. It's good. Allie has one too. She's sitting in my Secret Lab chair. And I don't know why it's spooky. Halloween's over. And uh, for some reason... My... Um, if you're a spooky girl, Halloween is never really over. But for some reason, the chair keeps on spinning clockwise. And I'm sitting in a folding know. chair. Uh, it does that for me, too. Chairs don't like me. This floor must be gently uneven or something. It must be. Because that happens... It's funny, though, because, again, the chair is huge. And Allie is tiny. And you keep saying that I'm, I'm, five I'm foot leaning six. into it now because it's funny because people meet you and they go like, you're, you're like a normal taller. sized yeah. woman. You're much taller you're than like I thought you'd be. You're like kind of tall. And I'm like, like yeah. Well, they would funny. refer to me on the discord as like little Allie. And I was like, I am not little. Very average sized person. I'm not a little girl. In terms of your height. Yeah. You're just here. Yeah. Just chilling. But, but I am taller than the average woman, bear. I should say. Of course. I'm taller than the average bear. So I think it's easy to be confused about our relative height. You're very you don't tall. Know us? You're very tall. I'm not crazy. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm six one, six two, somewhere in there. So yeah. you're very tall. Okay. That's tall. All right. Okay. Uh. So. So you know. 
Do you want me to read the notes? No, we'll get there. We, we've, <laughs> we've seen a lot of movies this week. Oh, we're going into movies? I think we should briefly, because this chapter is, is very and short. Carrie. We saw, uh, you know what? I've been keeping up with my Letterboxd lately. Yeah, Gus likes putting I'm funny reviews on I'm having a lot of fun with Letterboxd. My username on there is Zustav, if you want to follow me. Uh, what have we watched in the past few? The Substance today, we saw Carrie on Halloween. Oh, we saw Shaft. That was fun. That was great. Uh, we rewatched Infernal Affairs, and as tears go by, we watched The Wild Robot and wept. Oh my god, The Wild Robot was so wept. good! Holy shit! Uh, we re- a lot of these are rewatches because my parents were in town, and we wanted to watch movies that we'd seen with them. Yeah. Ponyo Paddington, it follows. Paddington is ridiculously good. Very like, very cute. Oh, we have to see Paddington. Too. We have to see Paddington too. We do have to see Paddington too. Uh, it follows. I think they're coming out with a third Paddington movie. By my the way, my god. Yes, It Follows, which is always a favorite. By the way, the guy I met at the party the other night who I really liked, he, yeah. he one of his favorite movies is It Follows. I'm we talked the, about it. Best I, that, friend, I told man. you you're going to like this man. Best friend. Yeah. It's the best fucking movie, man. I was at a party. The it's <laughs> so deeply, deeply the upsetting. Wasn't at, and I bonded with somebody. <laughs> oh, I've seen a play, wasn't I? What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You were at a play and I was at a birthday party. What else did we see? I don't know. Oh, I watched Old Boy. That was a we had two obligations, experience. and so we split. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that's, good job. That's good. Uh, what else should we talk about? The, 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 <laughs> How about the notes? The United States election is on Tuesday. Oh my God! Please vote. vote. Please vote. If you're in the states, please vote. vote. Please vote. Obviously, you know who we're voting for. We're voting for Kamala. So there you go. Please vote for Kamala specifically. Yeah. <laughs> please. I want to have rights. Yeah. I want to continue. I don't in so many states yeah. now. It's really fucking yeah. disturbing. It's not good. I'm laughing because I'm, I'm stressed out. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, what else? I don't know because it's a short chapter. Just sitting I'm sitting here like, with what, existential what can dread. We, what can we riff about? This week. Briefly. You want to hit me, freak me with the notes, Kidoke? I'm not never saying that again. Ah, uh, it's a joke. Actually, I like that joke. That was notes, a good joke. Notes, Okay. Uh, sh- yeah. Chapter 14. You ready? Shadow Souls. Shadow Souls would be such a good band name. Yeah. That's what they call the Forsaken in the IEL culture. And I was like, sick band name. Excellent. 10 out of 10, no notes. Catswain and Cerulea being the Grace and Frankie of Watt. I love it. I never watched that. Did it's I good. watch that? It's a good show. What's that? It's cute. It was, it's was got it? uh, Lily Tomlin and Jane uh. Fonda. Um, they are two women oh. whose husbands yeah. they find out Wait. are gay. Uh, I did in a watch this gay affair with each other. Wait, is this the one that came out like five or six years ago? Or is yeah. this an older show? Yeah, I watched some of that. Yeah, it's cute. She's scared of earthquakes or something. Yep. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. It's a cute show. Yeah, it was fun. And I'm like, Cad Swain and Cerulea are the Grace and Frankie of what? They, yeah, yeah. And I think that casting is correct. Cad Swain would be by, Grace uh, and Cerulea would be Frankie. Gay men? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. No, probably not. Maybe. There's a couple of them. I'm sure there are a bunch of queer people in what They're just not there, you, the, the, mentioned Sanderson much. canonizes at least one, but Perfect. it doesn't really come up much to this point okay. anyway. So this is a quote from the book. Man, anyway. She, she did know. find Cerulea capable, and there were blessed few people in the world these days who deserved that word. Pop off Cad Swain. <laughs> I like Cad like Swain, that. man. You know? Oh. Are we ready to discuss how... Um, much of the vitriol against characters is directed at women. We or can if we you want. You want to fucking do that today, I guess. No, I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, we don't got to do that. But I'm just going to drop that. At some point, we'll talk about that. I'm just going to drop that. That um, when people talk about characters they hate who are good it's usually, people. It's usually women. It's always a woman. Yeah. Um, we'll get there someday. Kat's and if you try is, to start a debate with that about us now, don't bother. You owe me $1,000. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> We'll talk about it one day. Uh, Semarag is definitely going to get out. What? Yep. No. Yes. No. Yes. We're never going to see her again. Oh. Surely. She's going to be like Slayer on the shelf. They really do need to good. kill her, please. No, she's great. She's going to go no. through an arc. No. She's going to do the substance and no. she's going to come out as a more... Margaret Qualley is going to crawl out of her fucking back. Is it Qualley or Qualley? I think it's Qualley. I don't know. It's a good movie. Great movie. Good movie. Oh my God. 8,000 trigger warnings. Very disturbing. 
in a lot of ways. Eight apparently, million trigger warnings. I learned that apparently... And it's so much body horror. She wore prosthetic boobs in that movie. I was reading the Wikipedia page. I don't know why that stood Fun out to me. Fun facts of Gus This today. movie is like almost all practical effects. And for some reason, is under the practice, really? almost all practical effects. Holy yeah. shit. Including the, the, the one of them involved 30,000 gallons of something and a fire hose at the end. Yeah, that makes 30, sense. 30,000 gallons. I thought you're not allowed to use fire hoses on people in I'm films I'm sure they did it because carefully. Because of Carrie. I'm sure they... Oh, that was a good movie. Speaking of Carrie. Great movie. Because I believe some of the cast, bur- like some of the people who were in that scene at the end, burst eardrums. That sucks. Don't do that. I'm sure they did it... I'm know, sure there were like tons of regulations about it. In a more it, controlled way. Okay, that makes sense. On, on this. Yeah, good movies. I think it was Carrie. Both of them. Well, it's a very Carrie... Vi- I'm... Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Uh, it, probably because of the United States election coming up. Definitely because of the United That's States election. That's a big election. part of it, yeah. But we're here to escape from that shit today. I'm we're talking about other shit. I'm on Trazodone right you now. You are on Trazodone right like now. Like a dog on the 4th of July. Like our dog any day that he has something. St- not actually. That's a joke. But they did put him on that for the 4th. Anyway, moving. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking messy today. It's in my secret lab chair. All right. Yeah. I feel like Semarag gets out and kills a decently b- big character. What? Uh-huh. No. I'm thinking maybe Cerulea or Amis. What? Uh-huh. No. Yeah. No. I'm leaning towards Cerulea what because about we see them interacting. Bear. But didn't she also say, I can't wait to kill you specifically to, to somebody? Katsuin? Was it Katsuin? I think it was Kat. She hates Katsuin. Yeah. Doesn't like Katsuin. I mean, if we get more rain too. back, do we need Katsuin? Well... But I, I guess, want Kat Swain to go out in a blaze of glory. If you're subscribing to the idea that every narrative only needs one older woman. I meant then mentor. I guess. I meant mentor <laughs> to Rand specifically. It's but Swain. I guess call me no, out. No, I'm just, I'm in a silly, goofy Lay mood. into me. It's, this is a call out, not a call in. Is Kat Swain really a mentor? I think she's trying, but I, I mean, you know what I'll say about Kat Swain? Well, Rand well, is a difficult mentee. Yeah, of course. As as a longtime Cad Swain Stan, first time caller, uh, <laughs> first time commenter, first time commenter. Uh, what I will say about Cad Swain is a lot of her methods could use a lot of improvement. All right, sure, but I still think she's but I cool. Still fuck with Cad Swain. I like her a lot more than <laughs> I most still people. Fuck with Cad Swain. And I know. Fayil. I know. You know we really she... got to do the Fayil episode. All right, here's the thing about Fayil. Are we talking about no, fire? No, we can't we, do that. Okay, no. we're, we're just going to introduce all these things. We're just, this is people just are the gonna bait be like, episode. I disagree. And we're this is just going to be bait. like, well, we didn't we're give you... We're just baiting people. We're just like, here, comment on our we're gonna shit. We're going to bring up all the weird controversial shit. Just, just, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about but today. But you did nothing wrong. Play, no, the, she play did. the music. She did do things That's wrong. That's the wrong music. She there did do we things go. wrong, but... Yeah, but everybody does. It's a fucking wheel of time. That's why it's good fucking 17 years old and she's also deeply traumatized and she also did a lot of things right yeah like and buying also, Perrin a secret lab chair available oh now God. there's a Warhammer one oh wait there was alum spray painted on uh, the, yeah dude on the alleyway there's a fucking in, a hot wheel takes reference it's not in but in uh, the it substance, was? it wasn't because they filmed that in 2022, and none of those people listens to our podcast. How do you know? Because you the, can't why, know that for sure. Demi Moore, if you're listening, <laughs> drop us a line. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> that would be so weird. <laughs> Margaret Qualley or Qualley, if you're listening, but you can't know for you can't know for sure that a set designer doesn't listen. I can because they shot that movie before we made the alum joke. You can't know that a time traveling set dresser. That's true. Did not. There is a scene bucket. in that movie where she's walking down an alleyway and it just says "Alum." Yeah. On the wall. And you I sat me like, near the soundboard alley. This is why I have to sit over there. I'm like a kid is. in a candy shop. My God, shop. you, you love is, pressing those buttons. A, yeah, they 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 light up. They do. How do you not? Well, I do sometimes, but I it's called self control, guys. I have none of it. it. You should learn When it. have I ever demonstrated I, as an ADHD person, really understand self-control intimately? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, probably, yeah, actually, mm-hmm. you know. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, I have no uh, fucking uh, idea. Uh, uh, Samarag doing some She's shit. She's going to get out. I'm freaking out about it. I am. It's going to be fine. 
No. Nothing could ever go wrong. It's not going to be fine. We're fucked. It's going to be fine. She's going to get out, and I'm going to be like, Rand, Catswain, please. We just caught her. We land, Rand's going to lose a hand for no fucking reason. It's going to be fine. Just kill her. It's going to be fine. Oh, my God, Robert Jordan, That's Brandon Sanderson, fine. kill a woman challenge. Srandon Brandon. Why am I advocating for killing women? I'm not. Only fictional ones. Oh, yeah. Well, and you know. the... Ones who cut off her hands. That was rough. That was kind of. He cut off his. He oh, cut off his hand. I want to see Mickey Seventeen or whatever that Boon Jong. Fuck God, Boon Jong Ho movie. Oh, definitely. That looks good. It's got Robert Pattinson in it. I bring but this up because he gets his hand January. cut off. I know what the fuck. Um, oh, what's the other movie? There's a bunch of Nora. Nora supposed to be really Lucy. good. It follows. It too. follows. They follow. When is that coming out? It's still in production, pre-production, probably. <sighs> we got a while to wait before that one. Oh my god! We'll um, like, be at, like we'll be in the midnight screening of that movie. I would. Hey, yeah, 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 I would. Uh, we haven't seen Skin of Marink yet. That came out a while ago. I know. Why are we talking about movie? They're gonna get so sick of us. But yeah, it's just because maybe. it's an eight-page chapter. It's not a ton to go over. You know. I mean, I have some. Well, I'm not done it's with my notes. It's a good chapter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh. Oh, I'm going numb in this chair. This is terrible. I know. That's why I didn't want to sit in it. Why did, why did, why did I, oh, oh, I have to stand up. Continue. Yeah. And you're always like, why are you leaning away from the microphone? I'm well, like, because the, the yeah, see, chair is I so fucking I brought the microphone with me. I'm standing here with the microphone. This is very, very high tech. I've brought it up. It, here we are uh, to raise this issue of raising the microphone. I'm very tired. And I said, oh, now why the fuck do we have sad bracelets? You gotta have it. Okay. And then I said, Zerilia, okay. Zerilia agrees with me that we shouldn't make peace with the Sean Chan. Peace with the Sean Chan. Oh, Here's you know what? The, yes. We could watch Legally Blonde. But in that way, we'd have Reese. Reese Witherspoon or without it. With the Sean Chan. Is that Reese Witherspoon? Yes. Reese yeah, Witherspoon. It is. Or without her spoon. What is wrong with me today? I am... I... I have been asking you that all day. I don't know. I'm very out of it. It's very strange. It's not actually. Um, because we're in a will they, won't they with democracy? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to play my cursory seven and a half hours of Yakuza Zero today either, which is how I've been distracting myself from everything um, else. Uh, you know what's a ridiculous game? Yakuza. Yakuza Zero. Yeah. Fucking banana pants. Gus has a chicken and a 15-year-old girl running, running my real estate real business. real estate empire. It's great. I yeah. make 80 million yen He's been telling me about every it. 20 minutes or something like that. It's the best <sighs> game I've ever played. It's absurd. What else should we cover? I've talked about how I'm medicated. I've talked, like, what else are we doing? I'm still numb. I've been standing for like... Am it's, I having a stroke? No. no. These chairs are just... That chair is just not. It's not awesome. It's not. It's it. really not very good. I know. I've been trying to tell you. Well, why didn't you? You should. I, well, I, I should have listened. I'm, a I'm not pleaser, victim guys. blaming. I'm a people pleaser. It's my fault. I'm to blame. Oh. And uh, uh, yes. Do you want to share the thing that happened to you this week? No, it hasn't been finalized yet. Okay. Yeah, we'll get there. That's it's not. Fair. It's no big deal. Um, preview. We have. A cool thing, maybe. I guess, yeah. It'll Probably. be good. It is cool. We'll talk about it when we can talk about it. Um, it has nothing to do with the Wheel of Time in any way, shape, or form. Oh, I don't know, Allie. What do you think of... Uh, what do you think this chapter of, was uh, good. What, it's good. I, anything that has Cerulea and Cat Swain really both, good. I'm happy about. Because I like Cerulea. I'm really enjoying this book. It's really good, man. Again, I, I regret that we haven't had more and longer episodes as a function of life right now well we're about to we are that's true we're about Although to be dropping some we are apps. about to fall into wedding gate too because we have back-to-back -back weddings up to thanksgiving but i have faith in us we're still going to put them up even if it's a little bit of jank we're going to be doing the business oh, uh, we'll we got fine. some live reacts that are supposed to happen soon That'll be good. Oh yeah. Yes, Sally. Wait, yes. What I, I don't remember right now, but oh. it's very it's coming up very soon. So I don't know how we're gonna make <laughs> that work. It might have to be during the week. <laughs> I got so You're right. I swallowed my own spit. That's oh, no good. God. That's not what you want. All right. That's not great. Do we want to dive into the chat? Do we want to dive into a detailed discussion of the 2024 hit film, The Substance? Yeah. Starring <laughs> Demi Moore. Margaret I can't Quayley. stop. Think I think that's why we're so weird. We can't stop I can't thinking, stop about, thinking that about that fucking, fucking movie. movie. Oh my god! Yeah, that's part of it's it. Honestly, so that fucked movie's up. fucked up. It's so fucked up, but like in a really good way. He, just, just, he didn't wash his hands, and then he ate all that shrimp, and that's like the least upsetting thing. 
Dennis Quaid eats shrimp. It's really I don't know. Really Dennis Quaid up. eating that shrimp Pretty really, rough, really dude. was hard on me. Pretty fucking rough. I have rough. a thing about watching people chew with their mouth open. Well, I really can't and do it. Now I know I got to watch Cronenberg movies and David Lynch because apparently this movie was just kind of a love letter to David, to Cronenberg and Lynch. So, I haven't seen yeah, any. So so our friends told me to watch Eraserhead. So Criterion's having a sale. Emmy said, I'm fucked. I'm going to lose all my money. Um, I got to buy take it with DVDs you. and shit. You can't take it with you. It's not like I could just stream these things. Yeah, but... Just like I'm I like streaming... Having, I like having physical media because I don't... My... <laughs> well, you know. Secret lab chair. Because sometimes things keep getting deleted. I like having physical media because it's pretty. And uh, uh, also. I also like having physical media okay. because it's pretty. Did I yeah, say that? Yeah, I can't stop thinking about that fucking movie. It's good. It's, it's good. But let's talk let's about... Let's pivot back. This is not a podcast about the substance. It could be, um, but it's not. Uh, it's, but to it's, me, more deserves an Oscar. Is it to me? Yes. Oh, well, I'm an asshole over here saying Demi, like she's a half of something. No, it's to me. To me, more. Very good. Very deserves good. Deserves an Oscar, I Very feel. Very good. I think that movie should win an Academy Award for sound design. Well, definitely the that. Sound is insane. Not just when Dennis Quaid is eating Blink shrimp. Blink Twice should also be nominated. Blink Twice should win several awards. It's very good. Blink Twice was also so also good. Also very upsetting film. Oh, yeah. Deeply, 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 deeply upsetting. Deep Both of these 8, films. 8,000 trigger warnings deeply on upsetting. Both of these movies. Deeply upsetting. Do so we, not go into it without knowing that they are very fucking disturbing here's movies. Here's the thing. We're going to take an ad break. Welcome, Welcome back. back to Movie Takes. It's today a little bit. We're going to get into it. It's going to be good. It's a good chapter. And then we're going to the bar to see our friend Kevin we for are. his birthday. I'm so tired. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. We're uh, going to have one drink. Here's the thing. Chapter 14. Yeah. A box opens. There's the logo. It's Kat Swain's Kat Swain's stuff. hat. It's not a hat. We've been spending a lot of time with Kat Swain. And I needles. love it. I like Kat Swain. She's an interesting character. Will she make mistakes? Probably. It's the wheel of time. Everybody does. Yeah, but will we judge her harsher for them because she's a woman? Also, yes. Yeah. But, uh -huh. <laughs> so this is one of the I'm shadow... I'm just apparently wanting to get into fights on the internet today. <laughs> so this is... I one... don't. Please so... don't. I'm on Trazodone so this already. this is one of the shadow sold, Cerulea said. The white-haired wise one circled around the prisoner looking thoughtfully at Semirag. Of course, Cat Swain had not expected fear from one such as Cerulea. The Aiel woman was a rugged creature, like a statue that had weathered storm after storm, patient before the winds. Among the Aiel, this wise one was a particular specimen of strength. She had arrived at the manor house only recently, coming with those who had brought Althor a report from Bandar Aban. So, you know, what are they doing? Kedswain thinks about how cool she is. Uh, that's correct. Consider Cerulea an equal, which I think is Um, Yeah, quite that's because Kedswain fucks. She does. I bet she did in her day. She's a green. I bet she does. Currently. Why not? Let Good old for her. women fuck. Not that she trusted Cerulea. The wise one had her own goals, and they might not completely coincide with Cad Swain's. However, she did find Cerulea capable, and there were blessed few people in the world these days who deserved that word. So, so I mean, what, what Semirog's... I like people, though. I do, too. But Cat also Swain, hilarious. Cad Swain does get a little bit of old woman yells at cloud energy, just a little bit. Yeah, but, but I, here's the thing. I feel like old women get a pass from yeah. me for yelling at clouds because there's a lot to yell about. I think there's also a function when you're an older person, you know, with age comes wisdom. And so you're inherently going to be frustrated with many people, not all people who are younger than you, but many people who are younger than you because they're making mistakes that you made and, and have learned from. You. And it's like, no, no, oh, we know better. This. And it's we like, no, you know better. They don't necessarily know better. They have to make the mistakes themselves. I will be real with you. That is a frustrating part about getting older. Yeah. It is a frustrating part. The other thing is that you're a little more aware of your mortality. So when things are taking forever, you're like, oh my God, I only have so many yes, hours. It's the truth. Uh, how have they, how have they bound Semirag? In air? In a secret lab chair. Yeah. No, that'd be too comfy. Be They're too trying to comfy. torture her. In whatever the top competitor is to a secret lab chair. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Please continue. Why are you... Why, we 
are shattered. <laughs> 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 hey, how was your podcast this week? Unhinged. Oh well, they they just laughed about chairs for fifteen minutes. It was it was you know isn't that That's about not books? That different from what we do it's normally. Not. It's that, just we're all so stressed. Isn't that podcast we'll supposed have to be so about much books? more fun? Hopefully next week. God willing. Um, yeah. Why did I even say that? I don't Knock. Know. You can't do that. All right. So. Uh, go ahead. Is murder on the dance floor? That's also I like that movie too. Salburn. Yeah. And now I feel groove. Do you have anything you were gonna gonna hey, say some more hey, stuff? Hey, hey. Or was I talking? What was I saying? I don't know. You're talking about <laughs> old women, old people, and how old they people have understandable frustrations with young people oh. sometimes. <laughs> yes. Um, I think that um, yeah, that can be that can be frustrating to witness as a person with a sister who's seven years younger i see that sometimes um even though she is very intelligent she is uh oh yeah the uh she she's basically shining flashlights in uh samurai's eyes and yeah, playing yeah 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 annoying yeah. fucking sounds in her ears every once in a that while that would break me after an hour and samurai is apparently just like yeah man i'm chilling this is great i'm not made to withstand torture Except for my chronic illness. Actually, so actually I, am you kind of are. I am made to withstand. Okay, but I'm, I'm made to withstand like pain, but not um, inconvenience. <laughs> like if I don't sleep, homicidal. Oh, so the wise ones circle back. They're like, hey, man, you know what we could do? We could ring up the Kara Karn and be like, let us beat her ass. What do you think? No, he won't let them do it. He's just not fun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's fun. Um, no, he just, he won't let them do it. And that is a decision that is being made. And I don't want to debate anymore why. Cerulea's got a banger line. She goes, Friend Althor is twice as stubborn as any clan chief I've known, and twice as arrogant, too, to presume that women cannot bear pain as well as men. Okay, so I read that and I was like, ah. Yeah, exactly. Because women bear pain better than men. Everyone knows that's a scientific fact. And then I Googled it, and that is not necessarily true. Is that a myth? Um, might be. The results are inconclusive. Ah, didn't I read once the redheads are supposed to be able to take pain better, too, for some reason? I am starting to get to a point where I'm like, maybe we should stop making assumptions about who's better at taking pain. I would pain. agree with you. I'm just asking and if all of like, these are fallacious. This general group, we're going to just decide takes pain better because there's some racist uh, backstory on what? that. What? Yeah. Surely not. That's still some people in like medical schools think. Yeah, I know. It's quite upsetting. fucking fucked up. Well, here's the thing. Let's not make gross generalizations about people anymore. I support you in this. <laughs> Groups of people. No, I don't Let's want to be that done either. with that. Uh, if you have pain, consider... A secret let I'm sorry. Honestly, yeah, because it is actually back really pain great. Has, this has just become a a long ad for a chair that is not paying us to advertise. They're it. not. No. We just genuinely really like this chair. Brought to you by Secret Lab. We would tell you if this was an ad and it's not. It's not. We just really it's fucking not. like these chairs. They did an ergonomic assessment at my job. Yeah. And they were like, You guys, your chairs are all fucking weird. And I was talking to my boss and I was like, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, we should get our department secret lab chairs. Ha 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 ha. And he was like, I'm open to it. And I was like, Oh my God. Are we great? I want them. I want more of them. They're good chairs. They're good chairs. Uh, yeah, so mm. uh, uh, Cerulea Rand's, Rand's Cerulea Cad Suwain. Rand's not even here. So they clear up uh, uh, Cad Suwain's stuff. And she goes, Ah, Aiel. You were such good servants once. Tell me, how strongly does it bite, knowing how you betrayed your oaths? Your ancestors would cry for punishment if they knew how many deaths lay at the hands of their descendants. I mean, she's not wrong. And how does Cerulea respond? Go fuck yourself. She does not respond. Oh. She just looks at her and then says to Bear... That's in her head. She seems so much more human than I had anticipated. Her expressions, her tone, her no, okay, accent. Okay, so that is basically well, a go strange, Are easy to understand. I had not expected that. And that is the one thing that gets under Samarag's skin. 
Yeah, because Cerulea basically says, go fuck yourself. She goes, you're not as scary as I thought you'd be. That Of course that pisses off Semarog. Yeah. And that's Cerulea going, I have your number. I'm not fucking scared of you. Bear says, I think this is what we need to remember. A woman is just a woman, no matter how old, no matter what secrets she remembers. A flesh can be cut, blood can be spilled, bones can be broken. Shields will be sh- splintered, shaken, spirit, whatever the fuck. Swords, swords will, I f- can't remember. Spears will be shaken. Fuck me. What um, are you trying to quote? it in. It's the death speech. Oh. S- uh, shields shall be splintered, spears shall be shaken. I don't remember. God damn it. What oh, the I fuck? I don't remember it either. Hang on a minute. I just sit, this is my coping strategy for the elections. I just sit and watch Samwise Gamgee's Osgiliath monologue. Spears over shall be and over shaken, again. shield shall be splintered, a sword day, a red day, ere the sun rises. Ride now, Wait, ride now, ride, ride for I ruin. now know that's how I what want we're to doing spend Tuesday. the election. We're watching all of them. We're watching all of them. Yes, that's all what day. we're doing. Absolutely. I have a from job, s- but who you cares? Know, far from that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm kidding yeah. for legal reasons. Yeah. There are actually some people in my work who have listened to some of this podcast. I know. That's yeah. why I said for legal reasons. Yeah. So that was a joke. Uh, you can do two things at once. I could. We'll, we'll see about that. I think that. that's what we should do. I think that's a great idea. I think that's the best idea I've ever had. Extended versions? <laughs> yeah. Obviously. But we can't watch all the extended versions one day, I don't think. Can we? we? If, if, not with that attitude. You're right. But we do have to record a podcast that day. We can record it's the podcast be the most unhinged while the podcast Wheel of Time ever. is on. Not the Wheel of Time. While the Lord of the Rings is on the background. We I kind of love that. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. This setup, y'all can't see it. But the, the setup, I've got two screens here. And the podcast on the bottom one, the top one's off. And we could have the Lord of the Rings piped through the speakers so we could hear it. I think Tuesday will be the most unhinged I podcast I think that'll be the worst thing lives. we could possibly do. I think we will be so so fucking unhinged that day it's likely because today is already so unhinged and we do need to continue to talk about this we do i'm so because sorry we need to go meet kevin all right so uh, he's working we're surprising him didn't you tell him we were coming i told him <laughs> what i told him was <laughs> i told him uh a long time ago i told him that we would come for his birthday since he has to work on his birthday i was like that sucks we'll come surprise you for your birthday and then um i let time passed but then i realized i needed the address to this bar that he works at because it's not the normal bar that we normally meet him mm, at he works at multiple bars he works at multiple bars and i realized i didn't know when his shift starts and i didn't want to show up too early so i said um for no reason at all what time does your shift start and where do you work sneaky subterfuge <laughs> you might even call it he secret. Has no idea we're coming secret lab surprise shares. was a very loose uh, definition of surprise <laughs> more like fulfill expectations <laughs> okay keep going Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da. in truth i feel almost disappointed the cat so ain't me lighter and this monster has very small fangs Ooh, burn. and semarag is like well i heard you guys are the fucking worst you idiot fuck shit fucks fuck good one she says uh I have heard some little of you, new oathless Aiel, and your interpretations of honor. I will very much enjoy investigating how much pain and suffering it will require before members of your clans will shame themselves. Tell me, how far do you think I would have to push one of you before you could kill a blacksmith and dine on his flesh? Holy fuck. And Cat Swain is like, you did, you did more than a little research if you know that. That's some high level shit. You know, you've dug into this. Between Semarag and You're Rand, both in. sides are the same. Both sides are bad. <laughs> <laughs> like a tick what's like a tick um, i said you're burrowed in like, like a, a tick. tick like a tick uh ticks are one of my worst fears. i fucking hate ticks i'm so afraid of i them. knew a guy who got a tick on his penis <laughs> what <laughs> i yeah. forgot about that <laughs> yeah he was camping and it was it was like oh, on God. the tip no. and he knew this because he, he went to pee and it didn't come out the right way and he was like, I'm going to, I'm going to. Like when you put your thumb in a hose? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. And he was like, I'm just, I'm just done. I'm. I, this is the end for me. It all worked out fine. It was not me. Was it you? No, no it was not me. <laughs> was it you? No. No. <laughs> was it you? No, but I was on an episode of Chicago PD where my character got his dick cut off. That did We happen. have talked about that before. I know, but it bears repeating. It bears sometimes repeating. Sometimes people bring, to show up mid to start listening to the latest episode, which makes sense. 
I hope it's not this one. It, you know, <laughs> I kind of hope it is. This is a terrible introduction. We say that a lot, though. Like, I, I feel like this actually is probably sometimes a pretty though, on-brand podcast for sometimes us. Sometimes, though, I feel like our most unhinged ones are the most fun. Often. Like, when we're going through the most shit and, like, everything is just, like, on fire. Like, I personally and professionally doing never better. Me too. Right? But but the world is so crazy that if the world chilled, my life would be so good. Do you know the kind of person I'm going to be if we get to say Madam President? <laughs> I'm going to be such an asshole. Yeah. I love it. All I right. love that journey for me. Universe, it's me again. Make it happen. So they're like, what do we do with the, what do we do with Semarag? What's the plan here? And Cerulea goes, if I were to choose, I think that I would have her throat slit and her, and her corpse laid out on the dust to dry. That would be me. Keeping her alive is like keeping a snap with Blacklands as a pet. Cerulea speaks much wisdom. Let's listen to her. Now, what is Cad Suane's rebuttal? She says, nah. skirt, why can't we do that? I'm saying skirt lately. She's got information. Yeah. No, we got to mine her for information. Okay, but how long are we going to do that before we realize that she could get out she well, is looking for active yeah. ways out all the time. And the Forsaken might come for her. Are we just going to let that just just chill? She's Chekhov's Forsaken. Please so, kill her, please. Oh, my God. Ked Swain and really go to check out their loot. I don't want you to all be stupid. Tell me, the, tell me the weaves they've got on the box. How is the box locked? What's in the box? Okay, the box. What's is, in the box? It has like, all these weaves on it. I That's can't it. remember exactly which ones. But inside are, like I said, the sad bracelets and the angriol of the man and the thing. They're going to get those. But you remember, you remember the going to break out. She's going to murder whoever she threatened to murder. And then she's going to get the bracelets and the thing. The weave was fun. It's like a mm -hmm. Looney Tunes alarm meme. You okay. try to open it. It just grabs you and stops you from moving and then blares an alarm. You know what be funny? Yeah. It grabbed you, pulled you into the box. <laughs> it's a mimic. Dark Souls mimic. Yeah. Those fuckers like are that. creepy as shit, man. Yeah, just like that. Just You know the, the, the pain noises in Dark Souls? We've talked about this before. Mm, they're porny. They're so uncomfy. Both, like, especially that the and men. And those fucking fairies from... Oh, the that, great fairies in Breath of the Wild? Uh, just, just pornographic. Yeah. Just, I heard that someone was playing Breath of the Wild and their neighbors complained about their porn usage to the landlord. That's pretty funny. It was like, they watch porn at all hours, like, so loud. That's pretty funny. And it was Breath of the Wild. Yakuza, on the other hand, I'm not going to get into that. Um, it, it's weird. It's really weird. It's great, though. It's a good game. Some of the mini games you just go like, I'm not going to play that one. Anyway. Substance. <laughs> uh, good movie. So good. Good movie. Oh, my God. It was so disgusting. I felt like I was going to throw up the whole time, but it was so good. Let me pull up Dark Souls pain noises so we can just insert those. Oh, no. They're so porny. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's the shit right there. Oh. That What the fuck is this man's getting eaten by a box? Incredible. Ridiculous. All right. Anyway, we've wasted enough time. Uh, Ali, go, go, wait. All right, now we're really back. Why did we do that? Go ahead. I don't know, you insisted. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, Cad Swain flipped up the lid, and the box chomped on her and made the noise, and then Dark Souls' death. Um, well, no, that's what I think that, that's oh, we that's here. why we yeah, did that. that because that was what happened. That's what I think happens in the thing. Oh, my God. I just saw, because you pulled up YouTube, that my favorite Sims content people came out with a new video yeah which one is that it's the karen and connie oh cool they're so cute and they're twins and they build sims houses together and they're so good at it nice anyway i'm gonna watch that later so, it's so comforting they it's look, so soothing we got the the choid and call and we've got the the she looks at choid and call she's like that's a lot and then uh uh they pull out the sad bracelets and they're like that's just an evil thing that's just bad mm -hmm. and and they're like yeah yeah. It's pretty rough. It's a bad thing. Yeah. Why do we have it? Chekhov's bracelets. So really goes, this is unsettling to see. If one of the Shadow Souls or even one of the Shan Chan captured him with this, and the people who have these are the same people with whom Althor wishes to make peace. And that's why we're keeping him around, baby. Creation of these abominations alone should warrant a blood feud. Agreed. I heard that there were others like it. What of those? And they're like, yeah, we got them. 
And the other ones, the regular, the girly ones is good. I keep this one here because I intend to find a way to test it on a man. That would be the best way to discover its weaknesses. Al Thor won't allow any of his Ashaman to be leashed by it, however. Not for the shortest time. And Bear goes, A little like testing a spear's strength by stabbing it into someone. Mm -hmm. But if your enemy was planning to do something to you, you had to discover how to counter it. Even if that meant leashing yourself, Al Thor couldn't see this. When, he, when she asked, he simply muttered about that bloody box and being beaten. We have to do something about that man, Cerulea said, meeting Cad Swain's eyes. He has grown worse since we last met. He has, Cad Swain said. He's surprisingly accomplished at ignoring my training. Then let us discuss, Cerulea said, pulling over a stool. A plan must be arranged for the good of all. For the good of all, Cad Swain agreed. Althar himself, most of all. That's the shortest fucking chapter I think we've ever covered. Might be. That was a good chapter. That's fun, though. I do like but it. I'm just, I'm so nervous, dude. Oh, it's going to happen. Hey, okay, here's how it's going to happen. Yeah, walk right me through it. right now she's being hung up, upside down, Spider-Man style. Somehow she's going to get webs. <laughs> web. Just. <laughs> web? Get them all together. Yep. She's going to web? Know, Who's, she's she's web. hung upside down, Spider-Man style, so I went with webs. But she's going to, I mean, Rand figured out a way to break out of shit. Uh, yeah. Who's to say she won't? Maybe she will. Or one of the Forsaken will come get her. Oh, it's going to be bad. Admittedly. Or a dark friend. That's, there are some of those here, aren't there? A dark friend. There are a few of them I here. I forgot about the dark friends. Well, the dark friends. Now, are there? Some, There's one. Some fucking black Aja or dark friend wise one is going to let her out. Do we have one? There is one, right? Wait a minute. Is there one here? With yeah. The, the, what's her name? Da, 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 da. Her name starts with a D. De, de, Not Delana. Um, She's gone now. Or E. E. E oh, Elsa. is very, very. Yes, yeah. the bad Elsie. Elsa. Extraordinary. Okay, so she's gonna let her out. And then Semarag is gonna murder whoever she said she was gonna murder. She's gonna fulfill that promise. Maybe make an Aiel eat a blacksmith. Terrible. God. No time for that shit. Diabolical. It's going to be awful. And I'm going to sit here like, I told you so. I told Will you. Will they listen? I told you. I know plotting. Don't you know plotting, Randall Thor? Don't you know plotting? No, because he's not a writer. He's not. He's, he's a character. He's a sheep herder. I'm sure that I would uh, do sheep wrong. I definitely would. I yeah. wouldn't know the first thing about herding sheep. Border collies seem like they got it down, though. Yeah. Sheep herders, sheep dogs, you know. Border collies, that's the right kind? Collies, yeah, yeah collies. collies. Yeah. I guess if you have a collie mm. or a sheepdog and you don't let them, th their natural instincts make them yes. want to herd stuff. Yes, so if like children they're are like running around, they'll children. start like nipping at the kid's ankles. That's kind of wild, man. Which is hilarious. Yeah, terrifying and for would, that child. It's not like aggressive. If you're three years old, terrifying. Shouldn't be running. Well, I did. Uh, uh, <laughs> around a collie. Can't, can, yeah. Get smart, kid. I'm just kidding. Is there anything else to talk about? Mm. Did we talk about the substance? We could, but I feel like people would just stop listening. Oh my god! Please go see it. If it's, it's you fucked up, can stomach it. It's fucked up. It's there's a lot of body up. horror. Oh, right. there's so much body horror. I almost threw up like three times. Yeah, it's good though. You said it didn't bother you that much. Though. I thought it would bother me a lot more. It bothered me a lot. But a lot of it is like extreme. There's close -ups. a lot of needles there's going of needles. into bodies, but it's on like extreme close-ups, and so mm. when I'm watching them and it's an extreme close-up, I'm like, oh. This is not a real thing. This is a prosthetic. So it didn't did, did bother not, me that much. Did not, did not register with my brain. But like needles into you. badly infected wound. It's a lot. It's, oh. it's a lot. <clears throat> it's pretty fucking gross. It's pretty gross. It's, it's pretty cool, though. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. Uh, 10 out of 10. Well, here's the thing. I feel like we should talk about more Wheel of Time. But I can't really think of anything else from this chapter to talk about. So let's just go read no. another one and then uh, we'll come back. We gotta go visit back. Kevin for his birthday. Come back in a couple of days, actually this time. Drop another hot lore-filled episode. I think our Tuesday episode is gonna be really fucking unhinged. It it's should be. be. Or maybe it'll be the most on the straight and narrow episode we've ever done. We Purely just have no professional. sense of humor at all. We're None. Like, Hello. Here's critical analysis. Welcome. Critical analysis and nothing else. That'd be pretty wild. Allie and Gus, professional podcasters. Someone recently told me that I uh, am what, very well-spoken. Yeah, you are. 
And I was like, well, I get a lot of practice with the podcast. You do. You talk a lot. She laughed and she was like, I guess that would be true because she's a Twitch streamer. Oh. Kira. She's a Twitch streamer? Yeah. Oh, cool. We were talking about like, you know, all that. Yeah. That world and stuff. She thought was funny. Cool, man. I was like, well. When you get used to articulating your feelings on a podcast, you start to get pretty good at articulating your yeah, feelings. That will happen. Well, look, everyone, thanks for uh, for joining us today. We have uh, social media if you want to know what we've got going on. We also have a Patreon if you feel like supporting us that way. It's patreon.com slash We have a merch store if you want any of that. And you can always leave us a rating and a review if you want, which helps a lot. Other than that, anything else, Sally? Go vote. Holy shit. Yeah, go vote. Unless you're not American, then you can't. But yeah. go fucking vote. Holy shit. It's very... Yeah, we, we did already. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. Vote. Vote.